Well, what happened today? Tottenham versus Leeds United. Disgraceful refereeing. Disgraceful. The defending. What happened? It's like we left the door open. They just walk on in. What happened to Leeds United today? Well, I think it's safe to say we need a new defender. When Ailing came on in the 78th minute or whatever it was, as soon as he came on, two goals were let in. He stood with his legs open. The ball went through his legs. How do you not see it? It's, it was quite far away for him to not see it. I think the overall match was good. The referee is blind as a bat. How many fouls do they give on us? I'm not trying to give excuses here. Yes, our defender was shocking. But the play Rodrigo's got, I think all the goals just feel like they've just gone to waste because we've lost. We scored three goals to lose. We should have won that game. Somerville, four out of four now. Four games he's he's scored. In form. Yonto, I think he's injured, I'm not sure, but he came off. Sam Greenwood, I don't know what's going on with him. One minute he's really good, the next he's out of form. Jack Harrison, I think he's injured. I don't know what's going on at Ellen Road. I don't know what's happening at Ellen Road at all. Do we have money? Apparently, Rajazani has given the order of selling the club 100% to the San Francisco 49ers. So where does that leave us? I know I'm not trying to make this video negative, but maybe that's more investment for Leeds. Is that a good thing? Rajazani has done really well for the club, I think. Victor Orta has done pretty good. Bringing in Tyler Adams. Tyler Adams got a red today, though. Well, two yellows. So he called a red, but it's very disappointing that we're in this situation once again. We could have won that today, and we would have went into the Man City game after Christmas and wouldn't have worried so much. But now because of other teams winning, we're now 14th, which is not the one. And quite frankly, the players did fight, fight really hard today. And I am proud of the team. I'm just disappointed in the substitution with Aileen coming on and Mark Rucker coming off. I don't know what I don't know why. Why did you bring Ailing on in the seventy eighth minute? Or whatever it, whatever minute it was, um <sighs> baffles me. The fact that we're on such a running streak and he brings some someone off. Mark Rucker was doing very well, I thought. Quite well. Christensen was doing well. Aronson was okay. He was he was he was getting there, but Rodrigo, excellent, very good. Defending, we're lacking defence. Why isn't it? Well, if we see the ball, we go for it, right? We defend it, block. Defending is. We need to go back to basics on this one because I've been sitting here watching the game and thinking to myself, why isn't they just like going into the game thinking right we need to defend work as a team to be fair in the first half slash the first second half our passing was great we were passing we had like possession we had you know quality and then we started to lose it it was like up and down up and down one end to the other but we had so many chances how many chances do we need yes we scored three but that's not good enough we're going to Tottenham, you know. We're not going to, you know, playing at Bournemouth. How can we beat Bournemouth and not beat Tottenham? Especially in their impe impeccable form right now. Baffles me. Really does. And I I'm quite disappointed in the fact that we haven't even bothered to uh, put on some youngsters. Who brings on Gelhart in the... 88th minute same with Joseph I would have bought on Joseph and Gelhart probably in the 70th minute but no we're just it's late minute substitutions they're not going to work they're just going to waste time the other team and that is a disappointing thing with what we're doing is late subs that's ridiculous we shouldn't have brought Ailing on I'm sorry he didn't need to come on Mark Rucker did not need to come off he was doing alright I thought 
and didn't help with Tyler Adams getting a red. That silly, well, the extra yellow, sorry, for the um, silly trip, trip up on the player. But I don't know what to say about today's game. I'm absolutely furious. We were winning. You know, I had a feeling they'd come back and score one. I didn't think they were going to win. But I guess I was proven wrong. And I saw on the screen that we had a 12% win ratio. And I thought, says it all, really. And it was true. Well, yes, we played well, passing-wise, but the overall game plan and the overall sort of structure of the game, yes, we're communicating a bit more, we're passing a bit more, but our defence is like you're opening up a door and you're letting every, anybody come into your house. This is your house. Block it off. Lock it up, you know? Melier today was not good at all. I don't get it. I know it's quick and everything's happened very quickly at once, but... It was outside the box of the third shot, I thought it was, I think. The third shot, and he missed, and he didn't save that. But he could save all the shots in the world the other, a couple of games ago. I just, it's a lack of consistency. The consistency we are lacking here at Leeds United. And the defence needs, needs something. Because, yeah, it's shocking. Like, I love the players, I do. I really do ailing. Nice guy, but we need players that can hold that line, brick it up, you know? Christensen, great player. I think he'd do well. Strout, good. I'd keep him cock, good, but he's on and off. We need consistency. And this is where we fall, and this is where we can't keep a lead. We get a goal and we relax. They score, oh, we get a goal again. We relax, then we they score, and then we're, we're down again. We concede, and we concede. We're too relaxed, we need to keep pushing. We need to, as soon as we get one, go for the other, sec, second, third, fourth, etc. And that is a disappointing thing that's happened today. I was absolutely furious when that fourth goal went in. The first goal, like I said before in the beginning of this video, shouldn't have went in. Kane, it's Kane's goal should have been disallowed. It was a clear foul on Melier, but no, because it's... Because it's VAR, even though they checked it, it said, oh, let's check the club badge. And that is true. I'm not trying to be, oh, you're just a sore loser. But that, I'm, without a doubt, that shouldn't be a goal. It should be a draw, if not a win to Leeds United. So absolutely disappointed today. Well done to the lads. You know, you've tried your best. But we need to get down to basics for defending because it's shocking. The playmaker, you can see the process with how Jesse Marsh is playing and it's getting better. You can see that every game, the processes, the match, you know, transitions, the, the, the goal scoring, the opportunities, the finishing, everything you can think about. But the defending feels like it's just getting worse. Or the defenders aren't communicating and working with the goalkeeper. They trip each other up, they miss the fl they miss block, they don't get to the ball. And they don't defend very well. We need we need a strong defence now. But yeah, anyway. Sorry to make this such a, a negative video, but th at the end of the day, guys, it's night and you've got to stay positive, obviously. And now we need to build ourselves in the next month off around the World Cup and just get on with it. We need to come back December 26th. Then the January transfer window will be open. And then we need to start buying, investing. We need more players. We need at least five players coming in. New striker, probably a new right winger. Two le we need a left back. And then Stroud can move into more of a centre-back role because he plays quite well there. But, yeah, it's a shame. We should have won that game today. But I hope you guys like this video. And if you have not already, smash the subscribe button. That would help a lot. And I'll see you guys in another video. See you later.